So like I said, I play a lot of different kinds of music. Um, this is my more of my jazz setup and acoustic music setup. Uh, the main difference for me as far as setting this up, um, selecting these sizes and then how I tune them uh, is considering just the way I play. I use a lot of rebound, a lot of double strokes. Um, so with the snare, I have a deeper snare that I use sometimes for more deep backbeat kind of, kind of stuff uh, that's less dependent on rebound. But in this case, I've got the snare cranked up pretty high. So just to give you a sense of where the heads are tuned, resonant head is very tight, almost like a tabletop. And usually, uh, uh, in this case, tighter bottom head, tighter resonant head on the snare side. And then for the toms, uh, higher on the top for both the, uh, the rack tom and the floor tom. Uh, so a lot of that is just that, that kind of classic jazz tuning. You get those high overtones. Um, the bass drum I'm using is the is the 12 by 15 bass drum, and I specifically don't use a riser because uh, I like the sound of that off-center beater. You get those distressed overtones. If you hit the drum right in the center, and you get the fundamental pitch of the drum, if you hit it off-center, you get more of the high overtone. So it's the same idea with the bass drum. If you if you use a riser, you get that punchy, focused tone. Uh, in this case, I kind of like the the distressed tone that you can you can then control and use different ways. So altogether you get these kinds of um, so those are different considerations that i i try to keep in mind when i'm designing this kind of setup